You guys saw what it was. It was 764 calories. Lunch was the salad that I had. It was 952 calories. Good morning guys, it is new week and right now we woke up about two hours ago, yes about two hours ago, it's 8.30 right now, so about two hours ago, did the dishes, put all the other dishes away, cleaned the kitchen a little bit and then now we're sitting down having some coffee, girlfriend's sleeping upstairs so I don't want to be too loud, just something, a topic I want to cover for I know this is journey to pro, but I feel like it would help a lot of people. So a lot of the times you do a very hard session, right? Or just a long session that takes a toll on your body. Like yesterday we trained for about three hours, roughly. Uh, burned roughly 15 to 1800 calories in those three hours. I burned, I think 18 something. The last time I checked my ring. Um, so when you do a session like that, like the next day you feel quite sore, you feel quite tired. So little things that you can do to optimize your next day's training session. If you're really bonked out and like you're just exhausted and you can't do anything, take a rest day, do some recovery, do something active that's going to be really low intensity. So that could be, right now it's raining, but let's say going out for a nice long walk, doing a little hike, maybe doing some gardening around the house, maybe cleaning the house, doing a lot of deep tissue work um, with the foam roller, with the lacrosse ball, with the jujitsu belt. I have like a lot of stretching. Uh, I have a stretching video that's on my channel right now. I'll link it right up here. I have another video of how to use the foam roller to do like mobility training on your T-spine. So I'm gonna link that up here as well. So you can do all these things to benefit your body and not just sit around and do nothing all day, you know? So. Today, I don't feel like that. I'm definitely gonna do a whole recovery routine in the morning. And what I like to do during my week of Monday to Friday is every day I focus on either my upper or my lower body when it comes to rehab and prehab and exercises. So this morning, I'm probably gonna do a whole bunch of upper body mobility. I'm gonna do a little yoga routine for my upper body and then I'm gonna stretch. After, I'm gonna stretch after I did some deep tissue work and some foam rolling and some mobility. Then we're gonna finish up with some stretching. So. Following a protocol like that is really gonna allow you to optimize your recovery as much as possible and then allow you to keep on training and keep going. And then also, because I don't feel so bad today, I'm definitely gonna end up doing like a, I think I said it, like, I'm gonna end up doing a kettlebell workout today. Probably gonna be upper chest focused and legs as well. I'm so happy I got one. I got the 24 kilo one, so I've been slugging that one around and um, yeah. Right now, we we'll chill, enjoy the coffee, relax, and then we'll get to work. Alrighty, nice and clean, look at that. Rig shot. Alright, so that was the morning, finished up. Finished with uh, five sets of 10 kettlebell swings. Then we took a cold shower, and then I actually made this in the morning, but I needed to stay in the fridge for a bit. So this is uh, four tablespoons of uh, chia seeds, three of flax seeds, and a handful of walnuts with a sprinkle of this granola, which has um, coconut flour, coconut flakes, pumpkin seeds, more chia seeds, and hemp seeds inside and then there's also three tablespoons of hemp seeds in the mix with some coconut flakes maybe less than half a cup of blueberries and then a turmeric shot for dose so at least especially now for the next like four weeks i'm trying to drop down a little bit and go to about like 200 pounds and then steadily stay there so i'm trying to lose about a good uh 10 to 12 pounds total and maintain that weight especially when i'm going to be fighting when everything gets back i'm going to be fighting at 205 so being around there is going to be a lot easier so what i've been doing lately is staying pretty much keto vegan keto for the whole morning day and i only eat my carbs around 
What was that? <laughs> and I only have pretty much the bulk load of my carbs before or after my meal. And if I need it like yesterday's session, I had the um, Chrono Bar Recarb uh, Energy Gel like mid session because it was a three hour session. So we're gonna enjoy this and finally work. Finish some work. Now we're gonna do five sets of five on each side of cleans with the kettlebell sitting around, moving. So five. Easy way to stay fit. So pop this, do some Wim Hof breathing for three rounds, and then cold shower again, and then probably work out a little later. It's an easy 45 minute session. Kind of. Okay, so this is me passing your face. Okay, ready? Oh, God. <laughs> 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 ah! Fuck you! <laughs> you fucking hit me! You fucking hit me right there! Let's see if this fits up here. It does look in tall. So today is another morning of Journey to Pro, and I thought I'd switch time. Yeah. I'll switch some things up for you guys and show you pretty much how much I'm eating on staying inside, working out at least twice to three times a day. Um, and also, since I'm also doing a roughly a four to five week weight cut, maybe six, dependent, uh, we're trying to get down to roughly 205, 200 pounds, get down to about eight, seven percent body fat, and then work our way back up again. Or maybe, I don't know, I'll stay seven percent and then slowly just gain mass as I can. But we'll see. That's the goal, to try to get down. And right now for breakfast, we're having that famous bowl you guys have been seeing in the morning. So we got hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, a little bit of some cacao powder, like raw cacao. And then because it's mostly keto for the rest of the day, besides where my workouts are, we got some monk fruit extract. Now again, just a little word of caution, don't have too much of this, it's still it's very upsetting for your microbiome and your stomach. So I only have roughly half a teaspoon um, at that, maybe a teaspoon, that's it, like a day. Um, so this whole, and also in that bowl, we're putting a little bit of Ceylon cinnamon, and then we're also putting uh, a vegan blend of protein, which is just um, sacha, inchi, brown rice, pea, and hemp, it's a mix and we're putting roughly half a scoop. So this whole breakfast is 564 calories. Um, I hate tracking my calories, but just to show you guys how much I'm eating today, that's what we're doing. And we're gonna put a little bit of some soy milk in there, so it should come out to roughly 600 calories total for the whole breakfast. And for some stats, if you guys want them, for breakfast we got 40 grams of protein, we got 28 grams of carbs, we got 23 grams of fiber, pretty much almost hitting the peak there. We got 34 grams of fat. I might sprinkle some coconut manna on top of it, which is just coconut butter. And yeah, that's gonna be breakfast. Very yummy. Keeps you full for a very long time, honestly. The mountain of doom. The bowl difference. <laughs> We just finished a workout with the kettlebell and some elastic bands um, following a upper body push, lower body, upper body push, upper body pull, lower body push, lower body pull, and an ab exercise. 
did that whole circuit for about four sets and did another circuit of the same format, different exercises for three sets. And then I went for a walk with the girlfriend. So now got a shake, spirulina, banana, one date, and some vegan protein powder with some Ceylon cinnamon. And then we're gonna have this as like another meal snack. And then we're gonna have supper with this one that doesn't like to be on TV <laughs> or on camera. On TV. On TV. <laughs> Whew. Look at that. Girlfriend working. You gotta make her meal prep. All right, so done food, everything's done. I didn't show you what I ate after, but it was pretty much spinach, little bit of sweet potato, maybe like one fourth cup of mashed sweet potato, um, one fourth cup of cooked white rice, and about 25 to 30 pieces of asparagus cooked. So it took up about half the plate and about 150 grams of tofu. Mm, that was it. Put some mustard on top. And then I haven't had it in a while and I really wanted it. And I found that I can fit it in today's calories. I took two cups of Buddha popcorn, which is GMO organic um, olive oil. I think this one's actually avocado oil based with pink Himalayan salt. And I only had two cups of those. So that comes up to like 80 calories just for the two cups. So the tally up for the whole day, today was a very low day on energy expenditure. I didn't do much today. Uh, I maybe burned roughly 3,500 calories today. Um, that is a light day for me and that's without me doing my morning walk or my morning cardio session. I usually burn roughly 38 to 4,000 calories every single day uh, just off being active and one workout. On my two workout days, I'm burning anywhere between four to about 4,005, 4,600 calories. And then on my triple days, I'm burning roughly 5,000 calories. And yeah, so let's start. Breakfast, you guys saw what it was. It was 764 calories. Lunch was the salad that I had. It was 952 calories. The dinner that we just had now was 516 calories. And the snack, which was the protein shake that you guys saw me have, was 500 calories. So everything comes up to 2,732 calories for today. Protein is 170. Carbs is 210, so not that high on carbs, right? I didn't really need it that much. Didn't really do much today, so we were perfectly good at 210. Fiber at 75 grams. Uh, sugar at 59. I don't really count sugar, especially I'm not taking in like excess white sugar or anything. It's from dates or bananas. Um, fat, 142 grams. Saturated fat, 26, which is completely fine. This is coming from the coconut oils that I had today. Polyunsaturated, monounsaturated, 39. And then for sodium, we're under the means of 2,300. Potassium, we're at 5,000. Vitamin A, we're at 840. So vitamin C, calcium, iron, it's all above two to 500 to 740 times the recommended dose, but the protein, carbs, and fats is what usually everyone kind of looks like. So 170 grams, 210, and 140 for the stats. It's 7.30, and if I look at my Aura Ring, which is pretty much what I use for sleep, activity, HRV, and everything like that, I will be coming out with videos on a separate series just talking about what HRV is, what it does, how to utilize it to help you train and recover and everything. Uh, we burned 3,000, 338 calories. So right now we're in a deficit of roughly, let's say we round that up to 34 and we round the other one up to 38. That's what, 600 calories deficit. And I'm gonna move and do stuff tonight. I still have a whole bunch of things to do. I'll burn roughly another 150, 200 calories. That's put me in a deficit of almost 800 to 1,000 calories and that's what I've been doing. I hope this kind of gave you guys an idea of like, what do I do to eat, what I'm eating, how I'm kind of managing food. I tend to stay to a more ketogenic style of eating throughout the whole morning and day. And then whenever it comes to the workout, that's where I kind of add the carbs post-workout. And if it's a double training session, I do add carbs pre-workout uh, and post-workout. That's kind of where I play with the carbs, but I never go to like those 600 grams of carbs day. That's really on a triple training day or a very intense two day or my maintenance week, right? So that's only going to happen in the next two to three weeks, right? I'm trying to go down to about 205, 205 pounds, maintain, and then 
after a week of maintenance, go back into the cut for another three weeks. And I kind of just repeat that cycle of three weeks of a cut, maintenance, three weeks of a cut, and I'm losing roughly 0.05 to 1% of body weight a week, which is absolutely nothing. And that's it. So right now we're gonna finish a little bit more work. We're gonna go upstairs, chill with the girlfriend, relax, get ready for bed. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next training session, probably tomorrow or Friday. I don't know, we got a lot to do. Turning to pro, you know? So, coronavirus and shit. Catch you guys up there. It's a little preview, you know? It's a little taste. It's like when you sell someone cocaine, you first give them a little bit just to, you know, see what it's like. Oh, that's what you do? Yes, of course, because I sell cocaine every Thursday. I knew it. Another morning, woke up at 6 a.m. Girlfriend was working tonight, so, well, working today. So we took her car. We are on the way back home. We were just at Daniel's. We did a quick 30 minute session because Daniel has a pull-up bar in his house. So we did uh, five, four sets actually. We did one warm-up set and then we did four sets. So we did a total of five sets of weighted pull-ups. We did weighted pull-ups with a backpack and we loaded the backpack. And then on the last, last set, we did a drop set until failure. We did a tricep, skull thruster, extension, overhead. We did reverse curls. We did sprinter abs, which you use with a band. And then we did single leg step up without using the other leg to help you up. Total of five sets, quick and easy. And then Daniel had a phone call and my client actually canceled for a training session. So I ended up doing a whole bunch of rehab and prehab and a little bit of stretching. Total of an hour and a half of constant movement, felt good. We're gonna go back home, we're gonna grab a meal. Jeez. We're gonna grab a meal, we're gonna keep it low carb on this one. And then we got a workout at 2.30, which is in about two hours and a half with my dad for about an hour and a half to two hours of training. Finish with a sauna session and then finish that with a cold shower. Uh, I'm gonna push the cold shower today to about three to four minutes. And then tonight, I'm gonna do a recovery uh, stretching session just before bed, and that'll be today. Uh, I will be, next week, I'm gonna be doing a lot on uh, talking to you guys for Journey to Pro of like how I've changed and adapted my workout program to make it work for me to better suit the lifestyle that's happening now with social distancing. And I'll let you guys know how that is for next week. You gotta stay tuned. Today's the last day. For this week, we're gonna train, we're gonna eat. Right now, we're just gonna get home. It's gonna stop snowing. Yeah.